Hey guys, if you like dark, gritty crime mysteries, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to hear about this next one. Hey guys, it's Dan Booknook Noggin here with another book review, and this time I wanted to share with you guys Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. Um, he is a New York Times bestseller for his Blacktop Wasteland, which I still have got to go out and read. Um, I had first heard of this author a couple of years ago on Well Read Beard's channel, Kevin. You know, if you don't know Kevin, go check out his channel. And he had reviewed one of his earlier works. I don't remember the title of that one off the top of my head. I just remembered that it was a black and white cover and red. Black, white, and red cover. And I don't remember the title of it. But this book was pretty intense. This book is about an odd couple and they're more than just it's more than just their races being different that makes them an odd couple. Um, we have a white guy and a black guy who get together, and they think that they're completely different, but in the long run, they kind of find out they have a lot more in common than they had suspected. And these guys, these two guys, Ike and Buddy Lee, they team up because both of their sons, who were gay and they were married, were murdered, and they're trying to find out what happened, who had murdered their sons, and why. So they're on a, um, a vengeance kind of mission to solve this mystery. Um, all, they learned that there was this girl who kind of was chatting with Isaac, who is Ike's son, and there was some kind of something going on that he was going to write a story for his newspaper, but then things kind of went sideways and they end up getting murdered so yeah the, we got these two guys Ike and Buddy Lee and they're going to they're just it's very very gritty I'm like I'm gonna say that this is kind of no holds barred like if you are someone who likes like you know kind of like action-packed kind of Missed crime mysteries. This is going to be right up your alley. Um, I do like the fact that the author kind of relays this message of love is love. And these two guys, like one of the things they have in common is that they weren't really accepting of their sons, of the way their sons chose to love and who they chose to love. So they weren't really accepting of that. I love the fact that the author kind of you know, explains it from their viewpoint, being that it is the South and just the way certain cultures are. I love how the, he kind of explains, like, how black culture sees, you know, being gay versus, you know, just a white Southern guy's version of, like, you know, how he sees being gay. And these guys finally realize that they are wrong, that it would have been better that their sons had been alive than to really care about who they were in love with. I really thought that was a great message. Um, there is a twist in the end of the story, which I really thought was appropriate. It was really kind of interesting to have that little twist. It made it much more interesting and kind of drove home that point that I just talked about. But yeah, I love the fact that, you know, this is very fast-paced read. It, the events kind of move along right from the get-go. You meet the characters, the two main characters. You kind of meet, like, the co-players, the people and their families and stuff like that. You learn a little bit more about the relationship between the fathers and sons. And we kind of meet these sinister kind of villains along the way, which keep things really interesting. And, like, like I said, there's not a... There's not a dull moment going on in this book. Um, I really, really did enjoy this. I gave this a 4 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. I only gave it a 4 out of 5 star rating because I found the ending to be a little too predictable. Um, things did kind of line up in a certain way where you kind of caught on to what was going on at a certain point right before the very end. And I was like kind of... I felt like there could have been a little bit more to it than that. It would have been a little more interesting if it was a little more, um, 
I don't know, a little more developed than that. I felt like it was just kind of handed to you kind of easily, like, okay, here's what's going on, and, you know, it's kind of given to you, and you're like, okay, that's, I mean, but in the end, I did think it was a very, very strong book. I'm definitely going to have to go check out his uh, New York Times bestseller, Blacktop Wasteland, and I might even go back and check out his other book, that the one that Kevin at Well Read Beard had read and reviewed, so I might have to check that one out too. Um, I don't always seek out crime mysteries, but when, you know, when I do read them, they are pretty damn good. So yeah, this is right up there. I'm going to say that S.A. Cosby is right up there with Joe Lonsdale when it comes to writing this type of fiction. I was really impressed. This is my first time reading S.A. Cosby, so I was mighty impressed by this book. Um, of course, as always, for you folks in the U.S., I will have a link to Amazon down below. I'm going to also have, for international folks, a bookshop.org link. And if you got something for watching this this video, please, by all means, because I'm not receiving AdSense, please buy me a coffee. Every little bit, whether you buy through my links or if you help donate a few bucks to my coffee, it helps support my channel and it keeps me motivated to keep making videos. If you came here looking for book reviews and book recommendations, by all means, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell while you're there. Thank you for watching. This has been Dan. This has been another crime mystery thriller. Till next time, stay safe and be healthy.